my name is Gage Brewer. I am a palliative care registered nurse here with the Mental Health Network's palliative care unit and I identify as being gay. So I have a keen interest in supporting the LGBTIQA plus community at the end of life. And here in the unit we provide holistic person-centred care and that means that we provide care that just doesn't just focus on the physical symptoms and their disease, it focuses on things like the psychosocial, emotional, cultural needs as well and we also recognise that people are individuals uh, with different ages, uh, sexuality and gender and we incorporate that into the care as well. There are many barriers or challenges which the LGBTIQA plus community experience today. We had a patient with ward a female in her 20s and she identified as being a lesbian or gay and her family were quite against um, that aspect of her life. So they didn't know, but she was seeing uh, her partner of about a couple of years, um, who they knew as a friend. So on the ward, she became bedbound, and she really wanted to come out to her family about who she was, her sexuality, and her loved one, her close partner. However, due to the fear of discrimination and rejection from family, she she couldn't actually tell her family um, about her partner and the way that she is in terms of uh, her sexual orientation. And that was quite difficult for her. Uh, she did trust care staff about her sexuality and were able to support her within that. But then she passed away with actually without telling her family about her partner, her loved one, that she really loved and cared for. Um, and that was quite a sad thing to, to witness. Care and help provides a lot of empowerment for carers and uh, and the LGBTIQ plus community patients and care providers um, to uh, recognise those challenges, um, to kind of meet them early on in the care phase and provide the best, most welcoming environment which they can um, in order to meet their care needs. So my advice is that any carer who is going to care for is caring for someone who identifies an LGBTIQA plus community member is to go into carehelp.com.au he has really good uh, foundational knowledge about what it is to be a carer in different stages throughout the care journey, becoming a carer, looking after someone who's end of life to someone passing. But specifically, he has information that's targeted for the queer community. It's really helpful information. There's not a lot out there, but carer are definitely doing their part to kind of bridge that, that gap.